Welcome to the Journey 2020. I'm Charles Morrison. I'm, I'm, I guess I'm a little bit more than being excited, you know, because uh, I, I was just thinking today about the fact that back in 2013, oh, by the way, I'm Charles Morris. Welcome to the Journey 2020. Still, I'm getting a little ahead of myself, but um, I was saying that back in 2013, I think either the second or the third show we had our guests on so she was like helping us come on aboard and and she hadn't been on the show in a while and i'm sitting here talking to her and i found out that she's not only in florida anymore she's out of the state so i just want to welcome you bridget no novel how are you doing it's it's been a long time Doing a wonderful. I'm doing wonderful. I'm out of Florida. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, so tell me. Well, for the people that don't, for for the people that don't know you, tell us who you are and how did you end up? Are you in Texas now? Yes, I'm in Texas. I am Bridget Norvell, and um, I, I I hold many titles. And, um, yeah. <laughs> one title is a pastor. <laughs> Okay. The, the organizational title that has been given to me is pastor, and um, I, I I lived in Florida for 18 years, and I was running uh, multiple businesses like marketing, advertising, and other stuff. But I am now in Texas, and how I got in Texas was the political campaign. So it's so funny how you got in contact with me about this subject, and. Mm -hmm. um, uh, I am now feeding home, the homeless people. I, I came here to work on a congressional campaign, and it was against a person that was in office for a very long time. I can say it, you know, Sheila Jackson Lee, the person was running against Sheila Jackson Lee. Have you heard of her? No, no, no. Mm -mm. She's up there with, yeah, she's up there with Corrine Brown and everything, 22 years. So I got on that campaign. I was offered the marketing position there, did a little temporary, you know, a little, um, let's say I was a temporary manager for the campaign and then I started doing the graphic work and stuff came here visit fell in love with Houston Texas love Houston Texas oh really uh, and and now I'm a notary I'm also a notary uh -huh. and and my next sh shift is I'm getting ready to go in some governmental uh, volunteer positions and I'll talk about that maybe next time but yeah that's how I got here oh really Okay. Now, um, yeah. I know when you were on the show before, um, I mean, because we've been doing some stuff over a period of some years. Uh, even you helped me with my summit and so on and so forth. Uh, you very much into um, helping women um, because there's uh, some trials and tribulations. And you can even talk about your book. Why don't you talk about your book? Well, my book is Changed from the Inside Out, now from Change to Transform, but my book is Changed from the Inside Out. It talks about my past life, and you hear all these great things that I've done, but I have had a challenging, dysfunctional life, and I had to make a decision on what I wanted to do in my own life, and either I was going to live or I was going to die. I am from prostitution to uh, molestation, rape, and um, drug dealing, all these different things. So, yeah, because we'll, we'll see. That, you want to hear something funny? Because we, uh -huh. yeah, because we have been knowing each other for a while, and we have mm -hmm. talked about some things from your relationship uh, with the husband, other stuff. And so we had really had shared. Abuse, yeah, 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 yeah. And so we, so, so, uh -huh. so we had talked about a lot of stuff over a period of time, right? And so, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but when you came on the show, you open up and you sh and you share some stuff, and I was sitting there going, ah! because I never <laughs> knew about all the other stuff. So I was kind of blown away by your trials and your tribulations and a lot of the stuff that you have gone through and um, how, I don't even know how you made it through it. I mean, we, originally, you know, we were supposed to be talking about something else, but I, I do, 
I would like for you to come back later on and share some more of your stories because we both know that there are a lot of women that need to hear you and to find out about some of the other options because in our own world, a lot of times we think we're the only one. And so I think with what you open up with and how you try to help people, because there are so many that are abused and that's begun, that has, has gone through things, and a lot of times they may be embarrassed, don't want to you know, open up, and that stuff will eat you up inside. Mm -hmm. And it will, and it will, and a lot of people don't make it through. Um, Charles, I don't know if you're still having technical difficulty, but someone said that they clicked on a link and they couldn't see it, so I'm just going to give you a little FYI. Um, and, and Charles and what, I have what, worked together. What, no, 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 I, I mean, but can, but, but can you see it? I can see on Uvu. I don't know what right. they're talking about. They can't right. see it. Right. So I mean, if if there's a problem with it, it 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 would let me know. Now sometimes when you go okay. on, if if there's a problem, usually I mean not a problem, but when you go on some links, depending on your device, it'll ask you what link yeah. are you? I mean, what device are you using? So you have to tell it depending I on your it. device. If if I just saw it. Yeah. Okay. But yeah, I mean, uh, I mean, it's I just, working I just clicked on it. Yeah. Okay. So I was saying, Charles and I worked together in radio and in television and right. everything. So I, you know, we talk like this back and forth. But yeah, I would love to come on because a lot of people do get stuck. And I am now a life coach, mm -hmm. and I got my certificate. Oh, I didn't tell you. I haven't caught you up yet. Oh my goodness. I actually got a. Lifetime Achievement Award from okay. President Obama, and it was given to me in Florida, and um, the presenter was Pastor Nancy Williams. She was the guest presenter to present us with the Lifetime Achievement Award. But when you look at the achievements of my life and you, you hear of my past life, it's like you said, how do you get where you're at? And a lot of women, I now coach women in coming out of that rut, coming out of your past, your 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 past, your forty percent of your past, and making up the new sixty percent of it. Mm -hmm. So we won't even get into that. I know we're going to get into the topic, and I would love to come back on and start talking about that and that what helped me, what changed me from the inside out. Yeah, you know, I I think that's very 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 important. Um, now, you you said that you worked on the campaign. Right mm -hmm. now, I, I was just sitting here telling you that um, I'm actually I'm an independent, okay, I, and I won't. That's a that's a whole another topic because I am too. Right. I'm independent. Right. So, <laughs> but mm -hmm. but that's a topic that I would like to discuss another time on the mm -hmm. system because as we talk about what happened yes. with yeah, as we talk about the election. People say what they want to say, and I say this, I've said it a thousand times, a thousand times, a thousand times. Donald Trump has the right to be Donald Trump. He has all the right in the world to be who he is. The question is, what the heck is going on that you go, I want to follow this guy, okay? And every time he opened his mouth, you'd be like, what the, and I'll say this, and I say it a thousand times. If Donald Trump mm -hmm. did not have any money, if he had no money, mm -hmm. and if he walked in mm -hmm. being that way, you would consider him trailer trash. And you would throw him out the room and nobody yeah. would deal with him. That's my opinion. Mm -hmm. But he has a right to be yes. Donald Trump. So there's so, so many layers of his personality and the way that he comes across and how we attach ourselves to this and say, it's okay. Now, I had somebody on the mm -hmm. show last week, um, and I want you to go watch. Well, actually, you know what? I did a second interview with him, so we will talk about that later. I mean, a, a, another time. But he's a, mm -hmm. he, he's, a, um, he's a scholar, and he is a scholar of the Hebrew Bible, and he breaks it down and he translates it over to English and what it means. 
So if, if you are reading the Hebrew Bible and you want to translate it to the Bible itself, he can help you understand the meanings of it so he gets deep, 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 real deep into it. So you're saying the, pro the prophetic meaning of why he is where he's at at this time for this season. Correct? Well, right. And I asked him, yeah, because I asked okay. him about that myself because he, he has been around mm -hmm. the world and have talked to so many religious leaders from all the faith and all of them basically say the same thing is that we are a country now that has taken God out of everything and even to the point that it's not about his values, who we are, how we are, it's, a, no, it's, it's more about me, what can you do for me? It has nothing to do with society and what's best for society is what you can do for me. So that's where we are. Mm -hmm. So. Mm -hmm. And you're, and you're right. <laughs> Go ahead. No, no. So give me some feed, feedback on that. <laughs> okay. You're right in the biblical sense, but I want to I wanna plug in, like you said, if Donald didn't have money, yes, he would have been looked at as trailer trash, but really think about it, because I want to talk about the character of the man. Um, I know there's a, a prophetic side, there's a spiritual side, there's a, there's a mental side, there's a physical side. Um, the spiritual side, I see, I hear, I already told everybody that he was going to win. I talked about Nebuchadnezzar and what I saw when he was running and how we got so far away from God. That is the spiritual side. Now, when you look at the mental side, you know, everyone wants to say, oh, he's racist and he's this, but no, he wasn't, he's not racist. And I, I really even wrote a piece on that and I never got it out before he got actually in office. Wait a minute, wait a minute, hold on. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, hold on. Uh -huh. You're, wait a minute, you're saying that he's not racist. Okay, so I'm gonna, let me get to my point. Yes, I'm gonna tell you what he is. He's a narcissist. Right, right. He is right, right. egotistical. Yeah, 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 that's true. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So what, what? happens is okay, Donald yeah. doesn't like anybody. <laughs> he doesn't like fat women. He doesn't like, he doesn't like fat women. He doesn't like, I don't know about the blacks because I never really heard him say anything derogatory about Well, well I mean, yeah, but yeah. He doesn't like yeah, Mexicans. Yeah, but, but his... His history of his father, knowing where his father came from, mm -hmm. oh, okay, and then to hear, mm -hmm. I've heard the, the report that they did on CNN on the lady that was part of the lawsuit, and the and mm -hmm. the and the maid that worked for him and his father, and she was in the room and she quoted the things that they said. But go ahead. Okay. Okay. So. The reason why I, 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 I'm, I get skeptical or I'm really careful about who comes forth because the system of politics is a dirty game. Right. And any little thing can come in for them to win. So it's, it's a person playing chess. Right. You can't play checkers. You've got to know how to play chess. Right. So every a queen, you already know, you're a chess player. So you know the queen and the king and who moves who. So that's what the game is. So if I don't hear it for myself or like that recording he had and he was talking to the reporter and they had the camera rolling or the, 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 the tape rolling and he discreet, he actually um, messed up himself, what he said about women and griping him and stuff. Donald is about Donald. Even the cabinets that they're picking, he's picking right now, they think they got him. But this man will sit there, and if they don't watch, he loves power. If I sent you a few vid videos before we did this, and there was a documentary on Donald, and I think the History Channel did it. The documentary talks about how he actually became a millionaire for this time today. See, even when he was younger, so it was a bigger plan for him. And it was, he, he said on Oprah, if I ran, I wouldn't run to lose, I run to win. So 
power and him knowing who he is made him who he is today and where he's at today. So when we look at him and we say, oh, he's a racist, he's this, no. See, when you're, when you're brought up mm -hmm. to actually be empowered within yourself, you know what? Everybody is a squirrel and you're in my world. Right. Let them push Donald enough and they're going to see who they actually put in office. And we, I, I said it, either he's putting his, his watch his cabinet. He's putting his cabinet people in. But if they don't follow what the, he's doing, you're out of there. You're fired. Remember, you remember The Apprentice? Right. You're fired. So I don't look, that's why I said, I don't look at him as a racist. He's a narcissist. It's all about him. Even his children, his, 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 his wife. It's all about Donald World. <laughs> so. <laughs> right. <laughs> that's, go ahead. No, but, but, well, part of that too goes back to the narcissism and because our, our society only judges by what's in your pockets. That's, that's right. I, right. That's mm -hmm. the that's the world. I mean, that's the worldly view of how we see things. Um, mm -hmm. I always give the example of how we deal with people, even when they commit crimes. Um, like I like I give you an example. What's the guy name that dealt with um, Penn Penn State and Joe Paterno? Uh, Lung Lungueski, uh, something like that. The the he was he he's the uh, ped pedophile dealing with the little boys on the foot football team. Do you do you know okay, what I'm talking yeah. about? Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, I heard about it. Right. Okay. He's been doing this for over 30 years, right? Now mm -hmm. he's very successful. He's made a lot of money, live in a nice house, and really not hurting for anything financially. But Bridget, mm -hmm. let me tell you something. I've been a man all my life. I have no desires to deal with little boys or boys, period. There's something mm -hmm. mentally wrong with him. But that's not how they mm -hmm. deal with him first. They deal with him first like he's a normal guy because he is they look at him as being successful he has money he got a little of fame and fortune so therefore the mental part of it don't even come into play until a long time down the road so the, because what 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 does it what does it say now in the bible it says good shall be well evil shall be good and mm -hmm. and good shall be evil right so it's, it's it has turned around we have gotten so far away from truth right from our genuine ethics uh -huh. our integrity our righteousness we've gotten so far away from it that everything is okay now back to what we said about donald authenticity when Donald never changed who he was, right, uh -huh. and the money just made him more. But listen to this: How many of us can say? And I said this one time before. How many of us can say that most of the things that he did say out his mouth when he was running, we wanted to say it, such as jobs, such as. You know the jobs going over to other countries. Well, see, but, we but, not, but now, the, now, now, mm -hmm. every now, I can say this. Every mm -hmm. time he mentioned to Hillary about what uh, Bill signed and for the trades and everything to go overseas, that just ran through me because we saw mm -hmm. the, what happened with that, and so there was. And that's she right. never uh, she never addressed it because everybody knows that was a bad thing for him to do for America. Now that part is true. Mm -hmm. And look at this. There's a book called The New Jim Crow Law, and one of it say, it has a chapter in there about what Bill when the corporation of the jails, why the jails are filled today with African American people. 
Because if you go back when Clinton was in office, which it started with Reagan, but he carried on. The Clinton love money. So these different things were the things that had, was going on, and Donald had enough, can I say balls? Sure. <laughs> to say what was going on. And what we didn't do, we put these people in office, even your elected officials locally, and we didn't make them accountable. Well, see, so now you got but, big mouth Donald. But but go ahead. But but see, let me tell you what the deal is. This has been going on from the mm -hmm. beginning of time and it will continue to go on. The problem is, Bridget, is we as people, we are so into well, we're so divided. Like, like I give you an example of what I mean. Okay. To me, I don't. When you, when they start talking about a liberal, a conservative, a left wing, a right wing, I have no idea what that means. I have no idea what that mm -hmm. means. And this is what I mean. Even in the party, they're separate. Even in the parties, they That's have right. they have different ideas. Okay, but this let, is the let deal. Let me help you with that. Let, let no, 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 no. Hold on, hold on. Let me finish. Uh -huh, go ahead. No, no, let me finish. Uh huh. And all that is is that spirit mm -hmm. inside of us to talk about how we're separate. Separate means if I go over here, I'm better than you. I'm a different class, mm -hmm. so I get to look down upon you because this is how I see myself, and. What mm -hmm. people, what they really won't acknowledge in the problems we have with America when it comes to our skin color. Something about in a DNA that how they see themselves, no matter what they wake up with, no matter how they deal with what they deal with, you are beneath me, you are supposed to be a slave, you're supposed to eat off the floor, you are supposed to be over there in the cotton field, you shouldn't ever be in the same room with me, you shouldn't eat my caviar with me, you're supposed to be down there beneath me. And so there isn't a problem because you can have the statistics and prove it a thousand times over and over about how the racism, racism is in this country and how they do what they do and they looking at you like, what's the problem? And we have fed into it because we as people sometimes believe that we don't see ourselves as equal as them. And so whatever that is, that's right. whatever that is in their DNA, for them to look at people and think that they are above them and that's the way they should be and, and the things that they say and sometimes every black person in America have been around white, a, a white person who has said something and you look at them and they had no idea it was one of the most racist statements that they've ever said in their life and they looking at you like what, what's the problem because they don't understand their arrogance and their ignorance just that plain and simple and so okay. I say in the sense of whatever mm -hmm. that spirit is of that arrogance is the separation and so no matter and how the system is set up is this here. It doesn't matter if Donald Trump is in the White House. It doesn't matter who's in the White House. It's the system. The system is set up. And even, Bridget, even if you go in there and, and you have a high uh, seat in office, there's something in our DNA. Most people go in there, oh, well, you know, I'm going to be this. I'm going to be that. Then you get sucked in. You get sucked into the narcissism. You get sucked into, oh, you know, this is kind of nice to sit in this seat. Oh, now you're trying to protect your own little stuff. So you fall into the trap. So you, well, you know what? Oh, I get the vote on me a raise? Oh, I get the vote on what? I get, so now all of a sudden your territory has become, oh, what? So now, yeah, oh, well, I do believe in God, but so you get sucked mm -hmm. in. And that's the problem. And they don't have nothing to worry about because we too busy fighting among each other, can't come together and go, you know, y'all really supposed to be working for us. And they sit back and say, but look at these dummies. And that's why I always say, um, what's his name? Uh, what's, uh, what's the talk show host's name? Um, what's the white guy name? What's his name? Why, I mean, why can't I think of his name right now? What's the white guy name? I can't. Oh, come on. Um, what's his name? Uh, Rush. 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 Rush Limbaugh. Rush Limbaugh. Rush Limbaugh. 
To mm -hmm. me, to me, Rush Limbaugh is the smartest guy in America. You know why? He done made his money mm -hmm. off the ignorance of the United States of America. He make his money off of ignorance, mm -hmm. and he can swing no matter which way you swing it. You can swing it over here, you can swing it over there, and you're gonna go, oh yeah, you know, because of the system. And you caught up into you trying mm -hmm. to get your stuff and somebody taking it from you. No, the system has taken it from you, and you you don't understand. It's the system. All that like they look. Uh, it, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. I'm sorry, I got on my rant. <laughs> Go ahead. I, you on a roll. You yeah. on a roll. Okay, so let me let me let me go back, rewind a little. When you said about the parties, and then let me explain to you about the parties, the Repu Republican parties, the Democrat parties. There's no parties. I'm gonna, I'm going to tell y'all now that, and I've told people this before. There is no party. Right. The party is an illusion to separate us, as you say. The party it has to do with who has the power and what they need passed at that time. We talked about. Have you ever noticed that? Every eight years, if a party falls in and win two term, another party automatically has to drop it and get in. So it's a game. Everything is a game. So when the separation is to come to separate us in the mindset. When we say the DNA, the DNA has to do with the mindset. See, because if I put a dog, a puppy, I go and grow that puppy right next to a tree. He has to pee there. He has to eat there. He has to do everything there. And I take the leash off the puppy. Uh, the dog, when he gets older, guess what the dog is going to do? He's going to stay at that tree. So he's going to stay where he's trained. And again, when we look at the system, the system, and we say we believe in the Bible, so let's go back to Ephesians 6, 1 through 18, we fight not against what? Flesh and blood. Right. But principalities. Right. Um, I'll say uh, 6 and 10 through 18. Rulers of darkness. That's, that's your legislation. That's your prime ministers. People that are the system that is telling you what to do, which they're supposed to be governing the things of the world for, so it could be in order and we can be, it can run correctly, but they're controlling us. And we have allowed this and we have allowed the control to happen because of the lack of knowledge. We, mm -hmm. I am Jamaican mm -hmm. and from Jamaica, when we look at the Italians, we look at the Germans, we look at the, 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 the foreigners that has come over to this country, and what you're seeing is the foreigners sitting in these offices, even the Jamaicans and, and the, the, the Latinos, getting some type of office. But what happens is, I had an epiphany the other day, I found out that I was prejudiced. I was prejudiced against African American. Yes, I'm going to say it. And I'm like, because what I was taught and how I looked at it, but I spoke to some people, some Africans that was there, and they said they never had a chance because the system, the system bucks against them. I said, well, as you know my history, I said, why the system never stopped me? I haven't had a car in seven years. I'm driving a brand new car now. I'm, 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 I have credit cards now. I was not doing good in Florida, but the system didn't stop me from getting what I want. But my epiphany was my family, the Italians, the Germans, and all these people moved out of an oppressed land to come to a land of opportunity and milk and honey and they saw it with a different mindset. The African Americans here today they came over here enslaved their ancestors was enslaved their generations enslaved so how can they move any further if no one has taught them that the enslavement is over and let's go further. So yes, the system is always going to be painted as a picture for them because they are still in their oppressed land. Well, see. Uh, so now. Right, okay, mm -hmm. I mean, you and I, I mean, you and I understand that. That's easy for uh, us to understand. The problem is people of color, most of us have no idea what you just said. 
That's the problem. That's it. Right. That's it. How do we get? And this is what I'm not trying to figure out. So I'll tell you a little about next year what I'll be doing. I now decided to go into the system and reach back out to the oppressed, such as foster children, abused children, African American children, and families that I now, because it's going to take, it's just like the church say, how do you get them to Christ? One soul at a time. What are we doing as the one that did understand what I just say to make a difference, to show the ones? Because someone had to show me. I had to change my surroundings. I had to, I didn't come from a oppressed family. My family had money. My family, she they didn't have a great education, but they had a will a mindset to make it. You better have 16 jobs. Listen, I Uber, I do graphics, I do marketing, I do website, I do Postmate. I am always on the go. Nothing is gonna keep me down. But the thing is, how do we get them there? Um, there is a, there's a, there's a, a network called Viceland. Mm -hmm. You ever watch Viceland? No. Mm. And Viceland, there's this guy called, um, I forgot his name, but it's called Black Market. Okay. It shows how African Americans, they're stealing Mercedes, they're trafficking guns with the Mexicans to make it. His show shows what poor people do to survive, to make it. No one has went into these places and say there is a better way and there, you can make a change. The only way, going back to the Bible, that my epiphany comes in and I see is a Moses way. When he went and got the children, the children out of uh, uh, Egypt, some of them just had to die off. Right. And that mindset had to die off. And then when Caleb and Joshua went over, they said, you know, we're like grasshoppers and they're like giants, but you're not a grasshopper. You have the same ability. My grandmother taught me, baby, they put on their pants one leg at a time, just like we do. But who's teaching them that? And that's now I understand. I finally understand just last week, wow, they're still in the oppression and they like it. They have stayed there. And and I have to say it, Donald's really not going to help us. We are going to have to learn how to govern ourselves. No, Bridget, no. Uh, you really, really, really? And actually, yes. <laughs> now, actually, you want to hear something funny? Go ahead. Uh, the gentleman mm -hmm. that I had on the show, Skip, um, goes around the world right and he said something mm -hmm. and I listened to him and he's been in all these different countries and he said you would be surprised that a lot of these people are pulling for Donald Trump now mm -hmm. but it go but but it goes back to the same thing and he said what he said and I looked at him and I said, are they listening to Donald? And he started laughing because he said they think that he's going to do something for them. And I said, have they been listening to Donald? And he started laughing because he's saying they're mm -hmm. not hearing what he's saying. They just think he's going to do yeah. something for them, regardless of how mm -hmm. crazy he's sounding how stupid he sounded in their minds somehow some way he's going to do something for them and it's crazy mm -hmm. and i and i just think and i always say this I, I always say that if there is somebody from another planet comes to earth and just sit back for like a while and they and they'll leave going there's some crazy people on that place right there we are crazy people. <laughs> we are straight crazy. Yeah. We, I'm serious. We, mm -hmm. there's something wrong with us. You know, we're we're so selfish, and just arrogant, and just selfish, and selfish. 
not everybody. Because see, the one thing that we can testify to is that God always places his angels because I never will forget, I used to work at 7-Eleven, uh, right? And mm -hmm. when I was in college, I used to work at 7-Eleven. And I never will forget it. Every time I said, when I'm dealing with customers and I get frustrated and Bridget, every time I said, this place is going to hell. Every time. The very mm -hmm. next day, somebody would walk in the store and be kind and sweet and show me something totally different. Every time. Every time. And I'd be like, wow. You know, mm -hmm. because God places his, 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 his angel. And it's kind of like what Pastor Jenkins kind of told me. He said, Charles, we're all God's creation, but we're not all God's children. I go like, yeah, that's true. <laughs> so I'm like, yeah, yeah. So, but it's so mm -hmm. frustrating a lot of times because you know what's right. And people, it's, it's, it's like we've gotten away from what's right and people really don't care, you know? And so- Because we don't want to do the work. Right. We don't want to do the work. And the thing is, the work is so hard. It has been painted that it's so hard for us that good feel, evil feel good. Sin, who will rather sit up here and sacrifice themselves or turn over their plates or all the things that even the Jews, we, I was just talking to someone about their tithes. And because I go to a Jewish Messianic church and it's an unorthodox church, they call it gifts, but they practice, their practice is still there. That's why God, you're like, he didn't, they didn't accept Christ, but guess what? They're honoring the principles. And because we've turned so much away from the principles of things, and we, we've allowed the system to say, this feel better. Okay, so you know what feel better? It feels better to go get me some food stamps. And instead of, I'm gonna believe God for something to yeah, I'm gonna go there. It, it's better but, but, for me to let me finish. It's no, better not, for yeah. me to go through the system. You, 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 you understand? Right. You understand? It's like I had a headache today. I mean, when I said I had a headache, I walked out the car, and it was like excruciating. And I woke up with an excruciating headache. The first thing, my mind, my 40% of my past thinking from growing up of what I was, I've been taught, say, go take an aspirin. And I'm like, no. So me and my head is, I'm like, listen, I'm going to take an aspirin. No, 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 no. The system, the system teaches me go to Walgreens, mm -hmm. go pick up some aspirin, and do not fight with the pain, let the pain go through, let's sedate the pain. But what it is, is that we run away from the pain. And it's like Eckhart Tolle said, if everybody want to get a book, get the power of now. The new church, the new earth is called consciousness. And we are so unconscious of what the system has taught us to do. I'm not telling nobody to go throw away their pills or not take their medicine. Because <laughs> you already know I'm going to plug that in. But when we say we believe in a God, we even, and I have, can, can I go there? Let's go to the church. The church is one of the people that's helping the system in where we're at today. Well, I did a show with Pastor Jenkins. And the show was, mm -hmm. and, and you know, I... I held, I held my Bible. I had my Bible the entire time I had the show. And I kept asking the mm -hmm. question. I said, Pastor Jenkins, please explain to me for anybody who teaches this, this right here, explain to me how you support Donald Trump and you invite him in and you go, I want you to speak to the people. And, he's, and he said, I would love to have a round table so they can explain it to me as well. If you believe, if you're teaching from this, I'm, and I'm holding the Bible, if you're teaching from this, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. how do you, how do you, I mean, like, i give you a perfect example. Pence, he stood there so eloquently, and he said it with feelings and emotions about his belief in abortion, right? 
and he came from a spiritual scripture blah 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 and I'm like oh okay so how do you separate what you just said with so much passion with the rest of the stuff that goes in the Bible you know and so and Mark Rubio did the same thing I was riding around I'm listening to the Christian station and he's on the Christian station mm -hmm. and sounds so eloquently talking about God and how mm -hmm. God made man and his purpose and why man is here. And I'm sitting there and I'm listening to him and he sounded like if you didn't know him and if you had just turned on the station, you'd be like, oh my goodness, this sounds like a really spiritual guy, right? And I'm listening to him and I'm uh -huh. going, wait a minute, you done took a half of a half of a half of a half of a percent out of the Bible and you sound so, what about the other 99.9%? .9%? Not that you have to be perfect, but I'm going, how do, you, how do you do that? How do you forget about the obvious? And I'm sitting there and I'm going, that's why I say, when somebody come here and watch us, they, they go, boy, we some crazy people. But one of the things that Skip acknowledged was this right here. He said that 90%, and I heard a statistic the other day, it's either 92 or 95. But he said 90% of people here in America believe in God, right? But only 2%, mm -hmm. but only 2% tie. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is what happens with us. We believe in a God, but not the God. I'm going to explain what I mean by that. Oh, we believe yeah, I know, in I know, a, trust me. God has become our perception of who we want him to be. So I now break down God as I see him for what I perceive him to be. So like I said, we, ha we have 100% of our brains, right? And when we're growing, we have, we're, when we're growing, we are taught 40% of what we, we learned today. Our upbringing, the way we eat, the way we walk, the way we talk, things that has happened in our life. When we come in of our 40%, we are now, when we get to our adolescent, we now start the 60%. And I talked about this the other day, about the 60%, and when we receive Christ, it's the renewing. The Bible said, as you read, and when you read the Bible, it is a pattern God went through, a principle, and the order. He speaks symbolically, he speaks spiritually and figuratively. So when we lay out the whole layout of what he's speaking, it is for the inner man. And when we keep on going after an outer man and making all these idols and kingdoms because of what we perceive it to be. So we now go to pastor, we go to apostle, we want to hear a prophet. Oh, I need to get a word. I need to get a word. I need to get a word from somebody. The word is already there. The Bible was written by 40 authors. And I, like I said, studying from the Jews, written from 40 authors with one divine editor. But we don't take it. We take it literally. We want to take it and fix it because of what we want to perceive for it. Thou shall not kill. Well, you might not go out there and murder a man, but guess what? You murder somebody with your tongue every day. But that's okay because that's 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 oh no the bible says this the bible says if there was this young lady I, I saw last night and she just came to christ she believed in crystals she believed in the ancestors and she believed in a whole lot of different things pan-africans that's another thing we don't do we don't go and study other religions I told them Sunday in my ser in the service, I have service on Sundays over the phone, and I said, everything is God. Everything we see God made and do. It's who we choose to do it for, yoga, Buddha. Buddha said, I am the enlightened one. Buddha never said I was a God. People made him into a God. See, our thing is, because we cannot see the divine per person and touch him, we got to find a leader. So now the narcissist and the psychopath and the sociopath that has made it through enough 
and say, now I am a leader. That's why I, as a leader, when I say I have an organizational title of a pastor, but I, I could not be a pastor when I can't stand people. <laughs> I cannot sit up here and call myself a prophetess when I'm sitting up here pimping them out of, I come out of prostitution. I come out of selling drugs. So now I'm a prophetess and guess what? I need some money, a car payment, and I'm going to come prophesy a hundred dollar line, a thousand dollar line to get my bills paid. You have just now contaminated the word of God. That is not your 60%. When Christ came, he came and demonstrated the walk of righteousness, the walk of ethics, and the walk of integrity. But we take and pick and choose, oh, I don't like that. Let's cross that out the Bible. No, I'm not going to do that one. Oh, well, that one's good. Well, yeah, well, thou, well, he going to bless me. Well, the mm -hmm. thing is, honestly, I mean, we can do a show on that itself because I honestly believe um, <laughs> goes back to what I was saying before how we some crazy people when you when you, <laughs> <laughs> when you understand who we are and what we are and Bridget the, 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 the problem honestly is and I would love to do a show on this I was just uh, talking about having a meeting in 2120. And France mm -hmm. looked at me, you know, France was like, looking at me like, what? I said, you know, we should be living to have a meeting in 2120. But when I say that, they're like, huh? Because we don't live so you and I can have a meeting in 2120. And so what, mm -hmm. in reality, we're living because we're saying we're gonna be here forever. And we're not here that long. And if mm -hmm. you don't think past today or this life, then there's something wrong with you. There's something, I mean, we can get into it in that sense because for myself, my own personal self, every time I look out the mm -hmm. window and I see what I see and I, and I know what I know and I look and I'd be like, man, how did God do that? You know, and I see the sun, mm -hmm. I see, the, I see, the, I see all, I see the flowers, I see the birds, I see, I see all these things. I'm looking at like, man, how did he do that? You know, and it's, it's beyond my little simple mind because this is, this is Charles' theory right here, right? Mm -hmm. When you look out to the ocean, that's God's knowledge. If you look at the ocean. And if you take that ocean like that. and you put it into a mm -hmm. five gallon bucket and scoop five gallons of water out of the ocean and put it in that bucket, that's your knowledge. <laughs> you got five gallons of water versus this ocean of knowledge and you trying to rule things in the universe. And that's who we are. And mm -hmm. that's how arrogant and superficial and stupid we are. Because if you honestly think this is it, and we get into this thing, because you know we get into conversation, I, I get into my conversation, and when, when it comes to, because all of this goes back to Trump and how he got to be where he is, and how we look at him. That's right. Be, be, mm -hmm. Because it's not about what's right, it's about what's right for us. And then this is what I always say. If you go to church, and your church is not making you feel like uncomfortable, if your church ain't making you squeal, you know, making you uncomfortable in your seat, you need to go to another church. Because when right. you're given the word, you're supposed to be going, you're supposed to be like, oh, he stuck me. Oh, 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 when, oh, he went deep. Oh, you're supposed to be, oh, because of who we are. There's a, a place where you have to grow and get past stuff and look beyond this because you should be going, oh, he looking at me. I know he talking about me, <laughs> you know, because that's how <laughs> you're supposed to feel, you know, because mm -hmm. that's who we are. And to get past you, it's a process. Nobody says that you're supposed to be, 
but that's who you are. And, the, and, and your walk and your process is to better understand to get past this stuff. And if you go into a church and they're not telling you and they're not explaining to you what hell is, it was, what? You're going to be surprised. But wait a minute, wait a minute. What? Huh? huh? What? Huh? What? Because you should want to know. You know, there's no house. You know, you know. There's no 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 house, no car, no money, no no worth not understanding the essence of your existence and your purpose, and you're not gonna be here that long. Come on. Have you ever seen a a U-Haul behind a hearse? No. no. See, we got we kind of we're we're trying to collect all this thing now, but going back to Trump, let me tell you something. You want to see us learn who we are? That man in the office right now is going to show us who we are. If we don't get ourselves together, we're going to truly see. Because there is a famine coming in the land. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let me prophesy to y'all. <laughs> there is a famine coming in the land. There are some things coming that if you don't really stop making up your, 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 your gods, because if you really don't know this God, Baby, what this man getting ready to do when you look at the cabinet that he has chosen, I quench when I saw alone the Alabama. I lived in Alabama, baby. I was under the jail in Alabama. I fought six <laughs> police officers and I wanted to see a judge. And I had that New York mentality and I want to see somebody. They say, you see who we want you to see. And they kept me in the jail, under the jail. And it wasn't a pretty jail, baby. When I saw the Alabama, he put he picked the senator from Alabama mm -hmm. on his in his cabinet. Right. Baby, we in trouble. We are in, listen, you need, to, we need to start listening of what's getting ready to happen. I saw, I heard one young lady said, baby, get your papers together, stack your papers. Baby, papers ain't going to be worth anything. Mm. So if we don't educate ourselves now and get to know who we are, know thyself. Right. No president. No president. My grand, like I said, my grandmother came here in 1972, and she went through a whole bunch of presidents, baby. And the the president didn't give her her house in '73, mm -hmm. didn't give her her truck, her tractor trailer, in the '80s, and didn't give her the land that she bought. When we look, we even go back to I love Alex Haley roots. When Chicken George left, he went and, and put a plan and put together for his family to come on up. He didn't care who was in office, and slavery was still going on. It, when are we? But, you but look Bridget, at Trump. Bridget, 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 that's the problem. Mm -hmm, go ahead. Br Bridget, that's the problem. Uh, like, um, and Pastor Jenkins uh, made a statement, I think it was in Bible study about three, three weeks ago. And mm -hmm. he he gave the statistics on how long the dollar stays in the Asian community. He gave mm. um, what, how long it stays in the Hispanic co community. Uh, it went from like 30 days to 25 days, to two weeks here. I think in our community, it stays in there six hours. You know? Wow. Six hours. Mm. And we like, and and I will say, say this, and and I was going through my emails, and I've been doing this, I think, since two thousand and seven. Mm -hmm. I back when I used to love my uh, chicken wings, I used to go to the wing house here in Orlando. Yeah, I run the wing house. And um, I noticed back in two thousand seven they don't use black people to this very day in their commercials really no no they don't oh he oh he he love his blonde in the you know they they don't use and if you go to their page to their web page i haven't been mm -hmm. in probably about three years but you had to go about four pages deep before you even find a person of color i emailed mm -hmm. them and i was looking at my emails from 2008 i emailed them 
ask them, you know, blah, blah, blah. They never did contact me. And I put it out. I even put it out on Facebook. I even said something. Nobody said it because we don't understand business and we don't understand our power. Here's a man who's obviously very successful, very business savvy. And he realized who we are. And he here saying, you guys going to come and spend your money at my place. And I don't, this That's is how right. I'm, and so he knows, he knows. That's right. So That's right. I'm I haven't contra- been there mm-hmm. since 2007 and I'm not going to go there. I'm not going to spend my money at this place. Okay. Okay. But the minute you try get, to get I'm people get to understand their power mm-hmm. and what that means, this is why we have our problems, Bridget. Because we really Charles, don't understand. We, don't like, I, we want some rims. We we got a, a car that costs fifteen hundred dollars. We gonna put seven thousand dollars in it. We don't have any money for emergencies. We don't understand. We don't understand. We don't understand. We don't understand. I'm sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna get controversial, and and you already know me, cause I, I you know we've been like I said we've been friends for a long time, so I'm gonna say what what I'm gonna say. We don't understand our power. We go out there, we vote for marijuana. Yeah, it got passed. Uh, we vote for guns and different things. But let me show you something. Black Lives Matter. Right. I had such a a dispute about that whole thing. And we don't like each other. And the reason why I had a dispute about it with my family and friends is because I couldn't understand it. Because I work in politics and I know lobbying and the law, I said, why is it that we are emotionally out there protesting and walking up and down when the power is in our government that we put the people in office? So when it comes down to Black Lives Matter, I felt, yes, I understood the concept of it, and if we're going to separate ourselves, at least show some type of unity and stop killing one another, but also use the educated ones that does know better, that is in office. I put all these people in office that are African American because I, I thought they would do something for us. So when they start killing Wait, wait, wait. Our, Bridget, the, Bridget. That, the, the cultural type of people, Bridget. you need to do some work. Bridget. I'm getting your behind out of there. Bridget, huh? Go ahead. Remember when Go I ahead. talked about? Remember how I talked about when you get sucked in? Remember when I said earlier? Mm-hmm. Once, once you get there, you get mm-hmm. sucked in, and you go like, "Oh, I like this seat." So now you're playing. A, you're <laughs> you're it. playing the game, the game that you claim that you want to change. Because now you'd be like, "Oh." Wait a minute. I need to. So you get sucked in. And it's by nature because we're just selfish and greedy. And that's why, like, for the Supreme Judges, I think that there should be a term limit on anything to do with having to do with power because it goes against our nature. It just does. You can't be given this seat and go, you're going to sit here with this power for this long until you die. That's crazy. Because that's not because how we are. That's not who we are. And if we don't see mm-hmm. the fact that we the people are supposed to be we the people, and the system is set up for these people, that's why Rush Limbaugh will always be a millionaire because he's going to play on your ignorance mm-hmm. and he, gonna, he already know you dumb and stupid. And I say it like that because that's how he come at you and you bite into it and you, yeah, yeah, Rush. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because he knows. And I look at him, he got the best game in town. Truly. And people don't We're, understand and, and, and their and own you power. Talk about Rush, you talk about Rush, you talk about Alex Jones, mm-hmm. Infowars. And you know what? I, I hate to, well, I'm just going to say this. I so respect Minister Farrakhan mm-hmm. because he doesn't hold his tongue. And he don't care. He's not really, he's not scared of nobody with two legs. And that's how my grandmama told me. I don't care if you got four legs or two legs. I know on God green earth, I'm not afraid of you because you can't give me life. And you, hey, listen, if you take my life, he knew my birthday and he knew my death date. Martin Luther King, 
He knew his birthday. He knew his death day. Marcus Garvey, all these people, where are the voices? Where are your voices again? So you, we sit up here. We want to put Trump in. It's just like you said. I spoke to an African-American guy because I Uber him. And I, I, and I always do my little surveys. And I said, what do you think about Trump? He said, well, and a lot of African-Americans didn't want to say this. Y'all know you voted for Trump. He said, well, he been in money before. So most likely, he the only one that know about money, so he could get our money back. Really? This was a young African-American guy going to college. Right. But it's nobody, but we want to sit here and we gave, we give over our power. Oh, Trump is going to help us. Right. <laughs> oh, we're going to march. We're right. going to do Black Lives Matter. Baby, most of them are getting paid. Well, so if you really know the game, you will learn how to govern yourself. And get back into, I put you in there. My mama said, I, I birth you, I can take you out. I right. don't think she could do that. But, <laughs> you know, we, we, <laughs> we put you in office. You got the power to get them out. But we don't make them accountable. Well, that's, we well, that's, accountable. that's what I was saying about the fact that we don't understand. And, and then, and actually, I think part of the problem is you have that Don King mentality only in America because I'm um, no, no, but I'm serious. I think part of that whole mm -hmm. Trump thing and how we see it is this here. I think is the fact that once you sit at a high seat, you are supposed to get away with trash. Once you sit at a high seat, you are supposed to be this, you are supposed to be that you are supposed to be able to get away with stuff. You know, I think that's how we really see because it'd be like, well, Donald Trump got money. So therefore, uh, a person here, well, you know, we see them this way. And for all those people that think that Donald Trump is going to rub off on them like they're going to get some money too. And you look at them like, you really? It's like you, you need to put down Baby, that crack look, pipe. Y'all about to work. Y'all about to work. The, 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 the food stamps, the Medicaid, the, 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 the Social Security, the, the SSI, baby, you better know how to, um, listen, I got, I, I can bake me some cake here and you got some flour. We could go ahead and bar barter because baby, the barter system getting ready to kick in. You better know who you are. You better find ways of making a dollar out of 50 because baby it's about to get it's going to look pretty for a little while look how the government is actually taking the they're taking they're, they're saying they created jobs let me tell you who the big players are right now Okay. while we're sitting back not trying to help one another the big players are out there setting up the, your, your life your new life for you let me show you google player google just bought youtube everybody is collaborating so youtube facebook inst on instagram twitter owns periscope disney looking into twitter but didn't purchase twitter instead of watching empire instead of watching half and a half knots i drive every day uber and I play Bloomsburg. I want to know who are the players. Warren Buffett, Tesla, he, the guy that owns Tesla is getting ready to send them to Mars, a million of them. So you're going to have an open earth. Are y'all going to get your thing? Because baby, they going to Mars. They trying to hook up Mars <laughs> right now. Do you know what's going on with, with the solar system? I'm feeding the homeless and I'm looking for them to go to Mars because it's a baby. Y'all need somewhere to stay. There's going to be some empty mansions out there. But what are you listening to? What are you really feeding your mind? You, you, you go to the church, you, you shout, you, you, you speak in tongues, and you go home to cook the dinner to live the same way again. And you said, my God is good. Oh, God is going to do it. Uh, faith without works is dead. Learn your legislation. Learn what's going on with the stocks. Movie, Money Monster. Did you see Money Monster? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That movie with George Clooney? Yeah, yeah, I did. Wake up call. Wake up call. Y'all need to wake up. Yeah. This is a game, and guess whose who's game, whose money they're playing the game with? Mm. Yeah. Well...
You know what? It's we we it's it's been an hour, Bridget. <laughs> Yes, it has. Okay. You know how we go. Okay, but see, let me let me let me say this. Um, Doctor Robinson is not doing the show with me now because he's on hiatus. So if you mm -hmm. if you would like to join me on Mondays, or if you want to do it once a month, twice a month, or you know whatever, you can see now. Mm -hmm. I'm, see now, I'm putting it out there. Um, you know, but I'm I'm serious. So if if you want to join me on Mondays from seven to eight, that's totally up up to you. If you want to do it twice a month or once a month, let me know. You know, because uh, we can kind of go back okay. and forth. You know, we can kind of go back and forth. But there's a lot of stuff that I really didn't get into. You know, from the standpoint of from a woman's point of, I mean, not a woman's point of view, but I will say this shortly. When Trump went into that thing when he was being taped on the bus, and when he was talking about mm -hmm. grabbing and and a woman this and a woman that and all this other stuff, from a guy's point of view, you wouldn't you you wouldn't understand this. But there's another level that you can take that to. Because if you're mm -hmm. a woman and you're saying Donald Trump is okay. As a guy, now we're going on a whole nother level here, Bridget. This is something totally different from a guy's point of view. You mm -hmm. kind of look at the woman kind of mm -hmm. like, hmm, okay. How much of abuse is okay in the sense that you're telling me what you're really telling me because you're saying certain things are okay because that's a guy listening. And you're listening to this guy, and you and you a woman, and you're going, okay. So now as a guy, I'm looking at you like, oh, I can kind of break the rules with you a little bit. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, <laughs> I'm serious. So you kind of look uh -huh. like, hmm, okay. So what you really saying is, is that it's all right. It's all right. It's all right mm -hmm. for 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 us to um, do this and for us to do that and and all this other stuff. You know, it's okay. It's okay for me to cross the line. You know? And, can, and, can and, I say and, from and, a woman's point Bridget, of view? Bridget, I'm being nice about it. I'm being nice. I mean, I'm, I'm, uh -huh. I'm, I'm putting it nicely uh -huh. because if you... See, there's a lot of stuff that goes on inside that. And from a guy's point of view, and when you're listening, and he's saying what he's saying, mm -hmm. he's doing what he's doing, and he say, hey, you can do this, you can do that, and the women don't mind, and you... What? Oh, Really? <laughs> huh. Okay. Uh huh. So man, you know, man, I, 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 I might not have to be so righteous after all, huh, girl? So you, it it takes it on mm -hmm. so many different levels, and I'm talking about a certain it spirit does. now. Now I'm talking about a certain spirit. Okay. Mm -hmm. So when mm -hmm. you get snatched up, and when you do this, and when you do that, and you, what, what, wait a minute, what you complain about? What, 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 mm -hmm. What's the problem? I'm just saying. Mm -hmm. cause, cause, I, I'm, I'm going to say it like this. Okay, cause, so cause, let me cause, talk about one part of you real quick. You, let me show you. You just open up a whole can of worms on what you say is okay. So what you complaining okay. about? Okay. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Just saying. Okay, let me tell you from a women's point of view. Let me show you. Okay. Us women do so many dirty things in the closet. We want to sit up here and play holier than, 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 than thou. But a lot of those women would have been open up their, their legs to Donald because of the money. Oh, yeah. And well, when Donald that's said my that point. and Donald did that, it was all true. That's, that's my it. point. I agree with you. That's I my point. With, and you already know how I see things, Charles. Because it, they, come on now, women. <laughs> Y'all want to sit up here and say, oh, it's so disgusting. Oh, my goodness. I cannot believe that he said that. But let it be in the closet. And he sit up there. Your horny sexual immorality self would have sat up there and would have been the first one to let him go ahead and gripe you and grunt. Okay. Well, see, Come on now. well, I mean, I mean, see, I, we don't want to tell the truth. I'm, yeah, but see, that's no different than all the women that were sending the mail, all the mail to um, O.J. Simpson because, well, Nicole didn't know how to do him right. You know. Mm -hmm. So it. What? <laughs> but look at this, Charles. Who? Fifty-four percent of women 
voted for Trump. Well, that's my point of what I'm trying to that say. Disgusting. That I, I'm I saying. I'm saying as a it's man. That disgusting. I'm saying. 54%. You know, I'm saying as a man, and I'm going somewhere else from looking at it. You know, from a a man's point of view. Okay. So mm -hmm. that's what I'm. Because now we're going totally somewhere else. Totally somewhere <laughs> else. Don't let me don't let me call out the cheaters, women that sit up here, adulterers, uh, cheat on their man. You ain't even marry him yet, but you're still cheating. Come on now, and then we're gonna point fingers at Trump. Well, Clean that's not well. House. I mean, but but I'm talking about who are you really? I mean, that's it, right? Who are you really, and what are you saying is is okay? Because I'm going to, and not that I'm going to take it there, but when I was very young, I actually had a girlfriend, and she said this to me. I was, I, I think I was, I think I was 19 at the time. And you, and, and you know what she told me? One mm -hmm. of her fantasies is she wanted to be raped. And I was like, hmm. What? That was one of her fantasies. Wow. Yeah. Wow. I'm good. And I'm going to be honest. I'm going to say this too. I understand what she was saying. And that's a learned behavior of what she's been taught because I remember when my uncle used to molest me, I wanted him to molest me because mm -hmm. that was the only way I felt love. Mm -hmm. I, I wanted, when I got raped, mm -hmm. I initiated it. So when we really see what we, our dysfunction is, mm -hmm. it's the dysfunctional mindset that we go through. And we want to sit up here and we want to point fingers at the people and the person, but we really don't want to deal with ourselves. And that's all we're really saying. We're not saying that every woman might have done it or feel that way. We're not talking about the maybe 2%. <laughs> we're talking about that 90%, that 80% that say, deep down, be honest with yourself. How many, how many marriages that, my, you know, my mama used to go with Jimmy Bob, but my sister went ahead and took her away from him. And look at your ancestors. Look at the generational cycles and this is why we're seeing the dysfunction today because the generational cycles has gotten out of control and we're crazy. Right. That's all I have to say. <laughs> all right. Well, you know, I want to thank you so very much and you should think about my offer. You know? I am. And somebody just texted me and said, take it. <laughs> 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 oh, I mean, but see, I mean, but 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 see, there's a lot of stuff that I really didn't say. But I mean, because you know, you and I go back and forth, and you know, and the, and the reason why I like you is because you can keep it real. Okay, I can, I can, I can, because see, there's in 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 the discussion that that uh, we have a lot of times. What I find out is this this is what I always say. Women don't know who we are. Y'all really don't. Because if y'all really knew what go through our minds, y'all probably wouldn't even you talk to us. You always said that. You know, you know what I'm saying? If y'all really knew what we'd be sitting here thinking, y'all probably wouldn't even enter the room. You know? But that's, but that's part of it. <laughs> but, but I'm serious. Mm -hmm. But women really don't know. I'm serious. And this is the most, if nothing else would be said, if they don't understand, did you did you see the movie War War Room? War Room. Yeah. No. Oh. War Room. War, wait, wait, wait. War Room. Yes. You. Yes. Okay. The one where he actually programmed the computer and they were playing a game no, and he no, didn't know no, it was a game. No. 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 Which one is that one? This one came out. Not. You got to see that movie. Okay. 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 Um, I'm gonna. I'm gonna send it to you, okay? All right. If, okay. if if you watch that movie, watch that movie War Room, and unfortunately, a lot of people, if they don't understand who God is, and if they don't understand our spiritual battles, it's gonna go right over their oh, head. Oh, got it. 
It's going to go. From the one that, what you call it, bro. Yeah, I got it. Okay. I what, I it's going to go right over their head. Because what that movie is really dealing with, if you're dealing with me, this, which is another good show, it's you and I. And you think you're just dealing with me. You're dealing with a spirit that you have no idea how to deal with, and you're not equipped to even fight that spirit. And then you, you got a whole other show going on. That, and so now you you pissed off. You don't you cussing out. You don't caught me, but you don't know how to fight what's really going on in this world and the spirits that we deal with every day. And so therefore, you you at the hairdresser talking, girl, my man, and you don't even know what you're dealing with, and vice versa, because it's the same thing. So now you're not equipped, and you think it's just me. You think it's us. No, no. And so now you're dealing with flesh, with flesh. And that ain't nothing but a big, crazy orgy. <laughs> that ain't nothing but a big, crazy orgy. That's it. It, and and, mm -hmm. and everybody trying to do everybody else and we don't you know all I know is that mm -hmm. this is what I want to do and it feels good and girl I, there's no rules there's no regulations I'm doing what I want to do blah 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 see the room I mean see the movie War Room and then we can talk I'm going to see it Oh, I'll be back next week because we got to talk about that. <laughs> we, we got you just you just went and tapped into stuff. I'll be y'all. I'll be back next week. Okay. <laughs> and, and and that's good because you know who's gonna be here next week. Who? Pastor Jenkins. Oh. Oh Lord! <laughs> you know I'm on But now. but 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 it's that's a, gonna be a show. Yeah, but see, that's a good topic <laughs> because people mm -hmm. need to understand what's really going on. And and I, this is something that I always say, even though what 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 we are we are what we hold on, wait a minute. Well, we're we're 16 minutes over, but check it out. I, I, I always say this. If you really want to understand the relationship and a marriage, just go back to the garden. And God gave Adam and Eve. <laughs> I was just going to see. God go gave Adam and Eve everything they needed. OK, but your life and your marriage is not about what was in the garden. Your life and your marriage is about the title of your name. Your life is about the house you living in. I mean, your life is about the car you driving. Your life is about all these things that has no meaning that you have brought to the forefront that now has meaning. So, and I have talked with guys and I know in the minute you talk with a woman and you see that spirit and, and I can give you a circumstance in, in, in a situation where I've gone through it and I know it because when you talk to that woman and you know this is a hardworking guy, you know this, this is a good guy, you know that this guy will take care of you, you know this guy that will be there, you know this guy that will be a good father, but he don't carry that image of what whatever that is that is now part of your psyche to think, well, it's about my nails and this and all this other stuff that has nothing to do with nothing but your dysfunction and all that other stuff that then came in and that's going to keep you in a place where you're not going to ever truly find your happiness and know what true love is. And if you don't understand, and this is, this is what women don't understand, if you say, I know what it is for a man to love me like Christ loved the church. I guarantee you, eight out of eight, eight out of ten women are gonna look at you like what? What? Mm -hmm. they don't, don't know what it means. Nothing. Has nothing. No recollection. Don't have a clue. What he don't understand. Don't have a clue. It. Have no clue. Don't even know to look what for it. it mean. What does it mean? Right. Nothing. Well, God Listen, bless America. Let me tell you something, baby. <laughs> Anyway. Yeah. Um, the Jews, I'm going to put this in real quick. What you said about Adam and Eve, the Jews, uh -huh. they don't even understand what the serpent was doing to Eve in the Jewish belief. Okay. She, he made love to her. Go back and read your word. It said he was desirable and pleasant in her eyes. He he actually seduced her. It's called sapiosexual. He spoke to her intellectual. He had intercourse with her, and Adam was right there. But that's why today the Jews do not allow their wives to speak to no man 
and have hold no conversation with the man because of that same thing right there. We don't even understand that. We don't even understand even. Don't let me start. Go, Charles, I'll see you next week. All right. Peace, <laughs> peace, love, and happiness. <laughs> yes. Uh, all right. Let me say goodbye to the people. <laughs> All right, I'm Charles Morrison. I want to thank you for uh, 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 joining in, and um, I want to certainly thank Bridget for taking the time out. We're 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 like way over, but hey, it is what it is, and we love it. So tune in next week. Well, hopefully she will join us along with Pastor Jenkins, and we will talk about the spiritual uh, 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 battles that we have that we seem to not know anything about. So uh, thank you for joining in. This is the uh, Journey 2020. See you next week.